Hello everyone, I'm Anbir Kaur, a student of class 10 from Government Senior Secondary Self Math School, Todarpur. Today, I'm going to tell you about image formation by concave mirror when the object is at infinity. So let's see. First of all, we'll know about some of the main points. The first is, the center of the sphere whose mirror is apart is known as center of curvature. It is denoted by the capital letter C. The center of the mirror is known as pole. It is denoted by capital letter P. In between center of curvature and pole, there is focus. It is denoted by the capital letter F. An imaginary line going through center of curvature, focus and pole is known as principal axis. Before we draw the ray diagram of the image, we first have to remember the four conditions. The first condition is, when the ray of light comes parallel to the principal axis and then strikes at the mirror, then it reflects and goes back from the focus. And when the ray of light goes from the focus and then strikes at the mirror, then it returns back parallel to the principal axis. The third condition is when the ray of light goes from the center of curvature, then after being striked at the mirror, it goes from the same path through which it comes. And the fourth condition is if the ray of light strikes at the pole, then it returns back with the same angle through which it comes. Now let's draw the ray diagram of the object which is placed at infinity. For example, sun. A ray of light parallel to the principal axis comes and strikes at the mirror. Then it reflects back and goes from the focus. And another parallel light ray comes and strikes at the mirror. Then it goes again from the focus. The point at which both the light rays meet after reflection, there is the image formed. We can see that the size of the image is very very small as compared to the object, that is the sun. The nature of the object is real and inverted and the position of the object is at focus when the object is at infinity. So this is all about my topic. I hope that you understand about it. Thank you very much and have a good day.